Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to Studio 3A, also known as my kitchen. So today we're taking a look at my new 3D printer, and this was provided free of charge for our consideration by Longer 3D printer manufacturer. And this is the model LK4X. You can see it is a uh, gantry style. 3D printer. A uh, nice little screen with a touchpad there. Belt adjustments for the Y and the X. That nice little light up dealy wobble there is the uh, bed leveling tool. Down there you can see the, the power supply right there and the brains of the operation is housed up in there so far so good i think one of the things i like about this best is the uh the build plate which comes off allows you to flex it whoops and remove your your print quite easily now you see I had a problem here this one shifted somehow I don't know what caused that but we can look here at the first print I did which came out just I think really nice so you guys will have to tell me what you think about that Okay, so this little overhangy benchmark thingy is done. And it does not look as nice as the picture. So, if you guys could tell me what I need to adjust. Wow. Yeah, that is nowhere near as impressive as that. Hmm. And I don't know why. I do love this flexible plate thingy here. Just go like that. And the stuff just flakes right off. Very nice. <laughs> Remember the early days of sticking painter's tape on these things and all the other fun stuff we had to do. I need that on there. There we go. Now I printed that from a micro SD card. It also has the uh, USB here. And there's a uh, QR code that, there we go, that maybe you can scan and get some information if that's something that you're interested in. One great thing about this printer that I'll say so far is the out-of-box experience has been magnificent. Compared to my first printer that I told you guys took days to put together, this one required just a few screws. The, the gantry thing here. Okay, let me see if I can kind of tilt this back so you can get a look. It's just held on with those two screws on each side. Then these two screws here. For the filament roll, two screws in there for the filament detector, and four screws here on the uh, 
Z-level sensor. And this thing is really cool. Let me show you how that works. So the sensor, I don't know how well you can see it on here, but it has bicolor LEDs. There's a blue and a red. And there's a little button there, which is being held in place right now, I'm guessing, by a magnet. So if we come over here and we go to bed leveling, we'll say automatic. This thing's going to do its little dance and come over top of this piece of paper here. Now, did you see the button drop out? Now watch what happens when it gets down there and touches the bed. See, it went in and the thing turned red. Now it's blue again. When it touches, it goes to red. stop no okay so then when I do my Z level homie and it seems I have to do this every time it's taken me two yeah two touches on the controls to kind of get that in there so you see my Z is set for minus two we got some pressure on there Then I can say next. Z calibration is done, and we can do the the level test, and you can see how that works as well. It's going to test the bed in 16 separate places. Looks like it's going to start in the center. Does each one twice. Then it moves along. It does it here as well. Like I said, it's going to do each one twice. It's going to do 16 places along the bed. So 32 touches for everything to get leveled. Tell you what, let's go take a look at um, some of the prints I've done so far. And maybe you guys can give me some advice. Okay, so here's the first thing I printed, which is the little benchy boat. And again, I think it looks really good. So if you guys can see anything that is looking bad, tell me, okay? So next, I downloaded this one, which is a 40 millimeter thing for overhangs and whatnot and as you can see and it came out ugly and I do, I'm not blaming this on the printer at all I'm sure the printer is fine the printer seems to be lovely it's me and my understanding of using them so if you guys know anything now the next one I was going to print was a guitar pick holder just a little tray in the shape of a guitar but this is what I get. I mean, well, this is what happened the one time I tried it. So I believe that's probably an adhesion problem. And then this is the last thing I printed, which is just a little, a little die. And then each side has something different. Like, for instance, there's a zero, a star, a one, an X, a heart. And blank so that's the side that was down you can see it printed pretty well there but here he might have needed some support in there for that I'm guessing but just that this is the top layer look at that top layer it just looks I don't know looks ugly this is PLA by the way that makes a difference my bed temperature is 61 degrees and the nozzle is at 212 so yeah, if you guys could Lend me some thoughts. I'd surely appreciate it. Well, as you can see, the auto leveling is done. Uh, let's see, we have a tune here. Nozzle temperature, heat bed temperature, fan speed. 
feed rate, nozzle flow rate, Z offset. Uh, here's the about information. Printer is the LK4X, build size, firmware, main form board, ugh, total printing time. Alright, do I have anything else on there? Yeah, I'm going to do that one again. It's called a shape die. And I'll see what happens with this print. Here is the screen while it's getting ready. You can see the bed nozzle temperatures, file name, elapse time. 12 millimeter height. Oh, okay. So high it's going to be. Yeah. So you can see now the, uh, the bed is heating up to 61 degrees. It's currently at 30. And the nozzle is waiting. So I think we'll end this video here. Again, I'd like to thank Longer for sending this out free of charge for our consideration. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching and being part of this community and helping me out whenever you can. I certainly do appreciate it. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.